This is Drom Shakasuto. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. So the best thing that uh, we can say on such a beautiful view and weather is Shalom Alechem to bless you with peace but there is a big cloud that is uh, covering that holy topic of peace the topic of Shalom and my wife and I we spoke about it and it's a known thing that my wife and I were working on our Shalom, our peace and our relationship, our connection, our unity since the day we met. And we met many people along the way that tried to guide us on the meaning of peace and to explain to us how we should run our relationship, people that some of them were rabbis, some of them were just people that claimed to have life experience. And in the end of the day, found ourselves dealing with a bunch of people that really never knew how to guide us and how to give us the real wisdom concerning peace, shalom. And basically because never had peace, never had shalom in their own houses. Many books can be written on this topic of peace and many people can claim to know what they're talking about and to go and spread the word in the world and to, to think to themselves that they are able to guide and, and really to give the wisdom of how people should live their life with shalom, with peace. But the fact that they themselves don't really love their wives and the fact that their wives don't really love them and they have so many arguments and they have so many wars and they have so many fights and lies and scams in their own lives because they're not completely honest and not completely open and not completely kind and sensitive and humble and not completely desiring the truth and ready to surrender to it no matter whatever it takes what it will demand from them to lose so they never actually met peace they never really had shalom and they don't know what in the world they're talking about so something very important and something very painful and something that breaks hundreds or maybe even thousands of families is the misguiding of the so-called religion religious world or some rabbis that are separating between the couple that are claiming that the husband and the wife should live separate life different life and this is something awful this is something very very wrong and it's true that the Torah itself is guiding us and giving us rules of modesty and different obligations to the man and different obligations to the wife but how can it be that in a world that that from the first moment that you come to the world people are searching and looking for their soulmates and then in such a what it's supposed to be so such holy reunion of those two souls how can it be that in the end of the day you won't learn how to know each other 
and how to understand each other and how to share your thoughts and you will always gonna think that you need to hide yourself and that you need to protect yourself from your wife and that your wife she needs not to open up to you and not to tell you everything that she feels those guidings are very very twisted very very bent and very very wrong and causing horrible damage to our people now I think that the main thing that is very important to understand is that the souls are one and we need to believe in that we need to go down to earth and to understand that in reality you and your wife you and your husband you are one soul and from that moment and on when you realize that you're one soul you just need to put all the effort on building the understanding and developing the relationship and to put that in front of your eyes and that that will be the purpose of your mutual life together that you will learn each other that you will feel each other that you will sense each other that you will care about each other and even if you see that your husband doesn't care about you or even if you feel that your wife she doesn't care about you so you need to care so you need to make sure that you will care you need to do the best that you can to care you need to show to the world that you care that you're a caring person and that you care about the world and that you care about emotions and that you care about feelings and that you care about what that goes on in the world and that you care about the thoughts of your wife or your soulmate, your husband, that you care about their feelings, that you care about their emotions, that you care about their desires, about their dreams. When people are so self-centered and even in a world of religion, even in a world that people wants to be holy and want to be righteous and want to be pure, he wants to learn Torah and he wants to sit and dedicate his life to Avodat Hashem and to serve and to pray and to catch a minyan and to wake up early and all those things they sound so great and they are they sound so great but only as long as you care about the people that share the life with you people that are sacrificing themselves to you and that they are willing to do as much as needed for you and that they care about you and that they love you and that for them you are number one now all these guidings that people are going and consulting with rabbis or learning from books that are creating separation between the couple that are telling the man you should do this and you should do that and your wife she's this and that and it's Lashon Ara. This is completely Lashon Ara. Those are bad words against your wife. You're not allowed to read it. If someone is telling you negative things about your wife, that she is not the most wonderful thing that ever happened to you, and just telling you that she is stupid, that she don't understand, that she's not in this level, that she is earthen, that she is focused in nonsense, that this is heretic this those are foreign thoughts against Hashem this is not the truth you can never imagine the spiritual level that your wife is holding even while thinking about the most basic things in the world you can never imagine how holy she is what are you saying that the couple they can reach their goal only if they are together because they got to this world to complete each other and only together they can achieve something that separately separately they can't they if can't they will achieve. go separately they won't achieve it only if they will make it together they will complete what they've been sent to this world for they came to be together a man and his wife they are one soul they're one soul and when you live in separation every kind of separation any kind of separation separation in your mind you are separating from your wife in your mind in your thoughts you're not sharing your learning now you're gonna say she doesn't care about my learning okay so see why maybe you're learning the wrong things 
Maybe there are things that are breaking the relationship between you and you are too self-centered in your learning that you don't feel why your wife doesn't care about this kind of learning. Maybe there is something wrong with your learning. Why won't you go and ask her? What do you think about my learning? She's gonna tell you. You're making fun out of yourself. You're learning nonsense. There are things that are so important in life. Maybe you're gonna discuss it. Don't be so scared from arguments. Don't be scared from the rebuke. Don't be scared from what that goes on in life. Because your wife, she is the voice of Hashem that is talking to you. And you need to follow the inner wisdom and the deep conclusions that are coming from within without ignoring people that lives with you and you're especially your soulmate. That she is your soul. You, she is reaching parts of your soul that you don't have the immediate access to, to those parts. She's carrying them inside of herself. I don't know why. For us it's very painful to see people that are going and asking for guidings and people are are sending me messages, oh, we consulted with this rabbi and we consulted with that person and I read in this book or in that book and like they're twisting our minds, they're breaking our self-esteem and they're filthing our minds with negative thoughts about our, our, our soulmates, our best friends in the world, separating us from them. Oh no, your wife, you can tell her this, your wife, you cannot explain to her she won't understand women are like this men are like that uh, you're talking bad things about souls that have been created by the creator himself you're talking negative things about the children of our father in heaven and it's impossible that you will be right while being so negative and and and, and evil and putting someone under you and thinking that that person is lower than you in his spiritual level who makes you? How can you come to this stupid understanding to think that you are better than someone else? Like you need to be, you need to be a jerk for that. You need to be so stupid to think that you're better than someone else. You need to be such a fool. Ima, tell them what you think, please. Uh, yeah, did. <laughs> My wife, she did. My wife, she's. There is a separation between women differences, and men's right? Differences. There, there are differences. Differences in only on also places that there should be a separation, but not between husband and wife. This is my opinion. They should share everything and it's the only way to build something good and to achieve your goal in life because you have to achieve a goal together because you are one soul I don't see a way to argue with this wisdom and I suggest for all of you guys just to believe in yourselves and to go and to just be strong like I don't care what people will think and I'm going and I'm fighting and there are stupid people around us that that they think that that we are doing things in a wrong way but we don't care like we're warriors and and we're ready to fight and we're ready to do our job and we know that we're on the right side and that we're with Hashem and we see that Hashem is with us in every aspect of our lives we see that and we have no fear from those people but for you I'm saying that you also should not be scared of those people you should understand that people that are selfish people that are self-centered people that are allowing themselves to talk negative things about your wife about your children about like I remember that when my kids were in school, so the teachers, they were allowing themselves to talk Lashon Ara, bad things about my children. Like they're talking to me and explaining to me that I need to like to be negative against my children. Like people are so twisted. 
you're going to consult a rabbi and to speak with him about peace in your house and you want to get an advice how to to love your wife more how to care about your wife and he like he's 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 breaking your relationship he's talking bad things to you about your wife He's telling you, your wife, she can't see that, your wife, she cannot understand it, while your wife is much smarter than him. Like, he's ignorant, he never met his own wife, he never saw the light of the soul of his wife, he doesn't have a clue who his wife is, he doesn't know anything about this world, he's so stupid, so far. His mind doesn't work, he's not in purity, he's selfish, he is self-centered, he's ignorant, he doesn't have no understanding what goes on in this world at all, and he's supposed to guide you now. So don't follow these stupid methods and just be strong. My wife is kicking me that I'll stop saying stupid all the time, but what can I do? I'm an angry person. Ima, you know me. Yeah. What can I do? I'm upset on those things. It makes me angry, it makes me nervous when I see souls that are suffering, when I see people that are under so much pressure, when we see people that are being de depressed and, and, and crushed under the systems of, of, of people that are claiming to hold the Kedusha and the holiness and purity and like Scumbags, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Look for the real honest ones, look for the real righteous ones, not the ones that people are calling them righteous, not those ones that people are claiming that they are the purest ones. You should look for those ones that are, that are giving you life and follow them. Follow those ones that don't make you chase yourself and blame yourself and feel bad with yourself. Follow only those ones that are able to revive you, to give you life, to, to, to cheer you up, to plant hope in your heart. Look and, for your soulmate and speak with him and be honest. And then everything will be okay and you won't need no one else except from your own soulmate. Inside the house, between the couple, the conversation and the, and, and the spiritual development that you will experience will be much, much greater than what that you can achieve outside. You think to yourself, oh, I'll go and meet with that rabbi, I'll go and do this, I'll go and do that. You think it will save you. You think it will help you. You dream. You know why you think it will help you? Because those rabbis, because those people are telling you that you must go and look for them and that you must give them money and that you go, must go and support them and that you should participate in all the ceremonies and all the prayer. Hey, the Creator created you alone and you're alone in this world and now that you found your soulmate, okay, great. Now connect yourself to your soulmate and you're not alone anymore. You meet with the biggest rabbi, you meet with the biggest teacher in the world and you're alone. You're alone. In a minute they will kick you out of his house, right? So you're alone. You're not really with him. He's not really with you. He can claim to be. He can tell you that he is. But in reality, he's not. He's not. He's riding the Amazon train. He's besting Birkat Amazon. Only your soulmate is your soulmate. Only with your wife or you with your husband, you're not alone. Now if you find yourself that you have separations, that you have arguments, that you have disagreements in your house, okay great, it's time to solve it. At least with your wife, when you will solve the problems, you'll have peace. But with your rabbi, with the people, I don't know, even if you'll solve all the problems and everything will look great, you will still gonna be separated because you're not one. But with your wife, you're one. With your husband, you're one. So be one with them. So be one. And you should say, we'll cut Amazon with the uh, biggest intention. Okay, it's time, my friends, to see.
say goodbye. It's evening. I'm going home now. I'm going to pick up the packages that uh, Amazon is delivering to our house. Everything is great, everything is beautiful, sky is gorgeous, the lake is beautiful, kids are healthy and we're good and Hashem bless you. Thank you for caring, thank you for loving, thank you for praying for us, we're praying for you all and may the blessing of Hashem will be in the center of your hearts, in the center of your mind and that the wisdom of the creation will shine from your own houses. Amen. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.